Thus, the church is the very body of our divine Savior Savior and his bride. The church is not some impersonal man-made organization and not some multinational corporation. The church is not an it. She is a she. And as a she, she is the bride of Christ and not the whore of Babylon, as some in history have suggested. Because of Christ's grace in her, which makes her in her essence immaculate, even if she is still sinful in her members. And as a good husband, Jesus unites his bride, the church, to himself and his glorified body forever. And as he takes his proper place at the Father's right hand, that means the church already mysteriously stands present at the right hand of the Father, united to her bridegroom, Christ. In other words, we witness Jesus' glorified body pass into his mystical body, the church, in this ascension. Therefore, it makes a sense about the words that he speaks to St. Mary Magdalene in the garden. You don't have to cling to me. You don't have to cling to my resurrected body because I have not yet ascended. Now, what we do now is to cling to his mystical body, the church, wherein we grasp, see, taste, touch, even eat his resurrected flesh in the blessed sacrament. So if we truly love the Lord Jesus and reverence his body, we will also truly love and reverence his body and bride, the church, who is visible and historical, just as Jesus' body is visible and historical. And the church makes Christ visible to the world. The church makes Christ visible not in the Hollywood way, with lights and makeup to enhance the actor's presence, but in Mother Mother Teresa's way, just by being one with Jesus and by Jesus dwelling in her, makes her larger than life in person. The church in her very visible and historical body reveals Christ's body, despite the sinfulness of her individual members. And because of the church, he who ascended into heaven is still with us, and we who are still on earth are beginning to be with him in heaven already. Christ's body is one with the head. The head cannot be separated from the the members. And this is what St. Augustine said when he was preaching about the ascension to his congregation in Hippo, way back in the early church. This is what he told his congregation. He said, Christ is now exalted above the heavens, but he still suffers on earth all the pain that the members of his body have to bear. And he showed this when he cried out from above, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? And when he said, I was hungry and you gave me food. While in heaven he is also with us, and we while on earth are with him, he did not leave heaven when he came down to us nor did he withdraw from us when he went up again to heaven. So the church's mission is to make Christ visible to the world. And her mission is our mission because we are members of her. You and I are the ones who are to make Christ visible. And so Jesus gives us a charge Make me visible in the world. Bring me into every part of your life, into every situation. And his life within us gives us the power, the courage, and the love to do it. The world doesn't need merely another great computer programmer or plumber. It needs a great computer programmer and plumber who is a saint. And the world doesn't need merely another great doctor, lawyer, or teacher but great doctors, lawyers, and teachers who are saints. And most of all, the world needs loving, faithful, and holy husbands and fathers, wives and mothers, priests, monks, and nuns. 
And just as the limits of Christ's earthly body are overcome through his resurrection and ascension, so too certain limits in our lives will be overcome because as members of his body, our own individual life begins to take on the shape of his body. We, we will be able to love beyond what we thought possible. The possibilities are endless with him. The Lord Jesus has ascended into heaven, not to abandon us, but to be ever more present to us, even more visible now than then. He wants us to make him visible to the world because we are members of his body. And our presence in the world is not to be like Harvey Keitel. God love him. I know I'm being unfair to him. Right? That is less in person than on the screen. But rather that of Mother Teresa, greater in person than on the screen. In the ascension, Jesus' presence has passed into his body and bride, the church. As members of his body, make him visible to the world. Yeah.